click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, welcome back to another fantastic chemistry video. And today we're going to assign priorities to complicated groups. In other words, groups with double bonds. It's not as hard as you think, but there are some rules you have to follow. Um, and what I'm going to show you now is a tool to help you assign priority to these double bonded groups. It's not happening in a flask. It's not a reality anywhere. It's just a tool that Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog have given us to determine which one of these groups has the higher priority. So don't think that anything is happening in a flask. I'm not doing any crazy chemical reactions here. I'm just showing you how to use the tool. So what Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog have said, start with the group that's attached to a chiral center. It has to be attached to a chiral center, right? Or else why even bother doing this? So now, whoop, I keep getting in the sunlight here. It's a very bright day here in Florida, right before a hurricane. So now, we draw out the double bond like this. So the double bond is like this. This is what we're drawing out. Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog say to consider it to be this. Let's back up a little bit. Let me draw this out. So here's the double bond we're working with. It's this one right here. We're considering this one. Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog say, consider this group as if it were this. Now, it's not this. You're considering it as if it were this. Now, if I look here, I think everyone will say that carbon A is bonded to carbon B twice. So let's call this carbon A and carbon B. So carbon A is bonded to carbon B. Nobody has a problem with that. Carbon B has two hydrogens on it. No one has a problem with that either, I'm sure. So just draw the two hydrogens onto carbon B. Carbon C has a one hydrogen on it. So let's just draw that in. There it is. All right. So carbon A has one hydrogen. Carbon B has two hydrogens. That's it. That everyone's happy with that so far. Now, let's consider that carbon A and carbon B are bonded to each other twice. Now, that's kind of like saying carbon A is bonded to two carbons. All right? That's how Conningold and Prelog want you to think of it, that carbon A is bonded to two carbons. So, there's the second carbon. So, now, carbon A bonded to two carbons, one right there and one right there and one hydrogen. That's how Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog say to look at it. It's not happening in a flask. This is just a tool to assign priority. Carbon B is bonded to two hydrogens and carbon twice. So there's another carbon right here. And that's how Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog tell you to examine this uh, group in order to assign priority. So that's, let's call this number, or letter A. So that's letter A. We have to do this for all of them. So let's go to letter B now. Letter B has an R group bonded to a carbon that's double bonded to a carbon that has another CH3, right? Hydrogen here and hydrogen here. So Kahn, Ingold, Prelog say to examine it as if it were this. A and B are carbon A is bonded to carbon B. Everyone's okay with that, I'm sure. Carbon B is bonded to a hydrogen and a CH3. Okay, so carbon A, or sorry, B, is bonded to a hydrogen and a carbon, CH3, hydrogen, carbon. I got too many hydrogens on there. There we go. So carbon B, hydrogen, methyl. Carbon B, hydrogen, methyl. Carbon A has a hydrogen on it. Good enough. Now, carbon B is bonded to carbon A twice, or in other words, carbon B is bonded to two carbons. All right? So right now, carbon B is only bonded to one, so let's give it one more. And let's give carbon A one more. Okay, so carbon A 
Bond it to carbon twice. One, two. Hydrogen once. No problem. Carbon B. Bond it to carbon twice and a methyl group. Carbon twice and a methyl group. And a hydrogen. Oops, sorry, the hydrogen's right here. All right, so that's A and B. Let's do C. We have the following. R is bonded to carbon, which is bonded to a CH3. Let's just do it this way for now. Okay, and now Con Engold and Prelog say we should look at it as if it were this. Let's label that A and B. Carbon A, carbon B, A, B. Now, carbon A has a methyl group on it. So carbon A has a CH3. Carbon B has two hydrogens, a carbon and a carbon. Let's go over that real quick. I'm sure you're getting the hang of it by now. Carbon A has a methyl group and two carbons. Methyl group, one, two carbons. Carbon B has a hydrogen and a hydrogen and two bonds to carbon. So that's how you'd set that one up. So now we've set up the double bonds the way Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog want us to look at them. But now we have to determine who has the higher priority. It's not hard. What Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog say to do is when you're on a chiral center, so we have a molecule that say, let me just draw one here for us. We have a molecule that, say, looks something like this. This is our chiral center. And let's just put carbons out here. Kahn, Engold, and Prelog say when you jump out one atom from a chiral center, you jump out one atom from a chiral center. So here's a chiral center, jump out. And in the event that you're tied, if all the atoms are the same around the chiral center, if they're all carbon, for example, that's what it usually is. It's usually carbon. So you have four different carbon groups, four different groups that are based on carbon. Uh, you jump out one carbon atom or one atom. You find that you're a tie. You have everything's the same. You jump out one more. Okay, you jump out to the next highest priority. That's what they say to do. Okay? So we're going to do the similar thing. We're going to start at the chiral center, which in our case will be the R groups, okay? The R group is a, is a chiral center. You jump out one atom. So you jump out from R to A. So we're going to be here, for example, and here, oops, and here, and here. And we find out that they're all carbon, right? We also find out that they're all multiple bonds. So we shouldn't even be looking at these. We should be looking at these, right? So now here's what you do. We're all sitting at carbon A. So we're all sitting here. We're all wondering what's going to happen at carbon A. Carbon A is the same, so we can't do anything with carbon A. But from carbon A, we can jump out to carbon, carbon, or hydrogen. So from here, we can go carbon, carbon, hydrogen. That's for, car that's for group A. From group B, we can go from carbon to carbon to hydrogen to carbon carbon to carbon to hydrogen. So that's, if we're sitting here, we can jump out carbon, carbon, hydrogen. From here, we can jump out carbon, carbon, hydrogen. Okay? This is complicated, so it's going to take a minute. Don't, don't get discouraged if you're not getting it right away. So if we're here, we can jump out to carbon, carbon, or carbon. So here we have three carbons. Okay? So we found a difference. That's good. We found a difference. So from this carbon, we can jump out carbon, carbon, hydrogen. From this one, car, uh, carbon, carbon, hydrogen. But now from this one, carbon, carbon, or carbon, this one wins. Because if you want to think of it in terms of math, these carbons all cancel each other. These carbons all cancel each other. These two hydrogens cancel each other, but we're left with a carbon right here. So this group A, or sorry, group C, has the number one priority. So this is number one. And it's all because of this carbon right here. All because, basically because of the methyl group. Okay? Very simple. It's very, very simple. Once you get the hang of it, this procedure is actually very, very nice. Okay? So now we found out that this one has the high priority, so we can stop considering it. 
Once you've assigned priority to a group, move on to the other groups. Don't even worry about it anymore. You have assigned one to this, move on. So let's erase these things because we're going to need some space. Now we jumped out to our high priority to the first carbon, the first element, and we found that this was our high priority group. Now we're between these two. Well, what do you do? If you can't find a difference, keep jumping out. Keep going out. So we're going to jump from this carbon. Now we're going to be on carbon B. Okay? So now we're no longer at carbon A, so let's obliterate that. Now we are on carbon B. So all we did was we just kept jumping out. All we did is keep jumping out. Okay? So now at carbon B, let's do this one first. We can go hydrogen, hydrogen, carbon. So carbon B, hi, a carbon, hydrogen, or hydrogen. That's from here. Hydrogen, hydrogen, carbon. Hydrogen, hydrogen, carbon. From here, hydrogen, carbon, carbon. There it is. Hydrogen, carbon, carbon. So here we can go hydrogen, carbon, carbon. We're here. Hydrogen, carbon, carbon. Let's do this one more time. We started here. We couldn't find a difference between here and here. So we jump to the next carbon. From this carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, carbon. From this one, hydrogen, carbon, carbon. So this is better. If you want to do it mathematically, which a lot of students do, that hydrogen cancels, this carbon cancels, but this hydrogen versus this carbon, nope, this one's got a higher atomic number, right? Carbon has a higher atomic number than hydrogen, for sure. So this is priority group number two, this one right here. So that means this one must be three. All right, that's how you do it. That Now, I know this is complicated. I know this is weird. I get it. You're not going to get this the first time. It may take you a couple of times in your mind or even on paper like I just did it uh, to figure this out. It's really not as hard as it looks. But you gotta you got to practice with it a few times, and you will be fine with it. It'll be fine. Trust me. But let yourself um, work on this a couple times. Maybe watch this video a few times just to get it, you know. Um, and I think you'll be fine. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please go ahead and slap that like button. Leave a comment down below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really is helpful to creators like me. And if you could, please... Um, Share my video with your friends and family. If you know anyone who's taking organic chemistry, maybe struggling, let them know I'm here so they can maybe get some help. That would be awesome. And with that, you guys, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbets at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.